Hello again guys, Lego Train Addict here for a video review. Today it is of the Lego 60050 train station. This is a Lego City set, so it's going to be basic, there's not going to be much detail. But here it is, it comes with the station, four bits of track, taxi, and this bit of brick separator, which is very good to have in a set. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and it comes with a bike and a bike rack. As you can see over there. Yeah, that's kind of a basic view of the station. Let's have a look at the minifigs. Okay, so the first minifig we get is this female passenger who has a suitcase and you can see there is not that much detail on the legs. And you know, just standard hairpiece, just like that. There is some printing on the back, and we'll move on to the next one. Here is another minifig. It comes with the Lego News, as you can see there. The same one that comes with the Horizon Express, I believe. You can see, just not that much detail, and on the back, there's a tiny bit of printing on the sweater. And we'll move on to the next one. Okay, this is a taxi driver. You can see there's a tiny bit of printing on the front of his shirt. There's nothing on the back, and it's just a pretty basic hairpiece. And he's got a typical smile. And the camera thinks all these minifig faces are actual faces, so it's focusing on them, which is weird, I guess. So yeah, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, this is the chef. He's got a basic chef hat, glasses. And he's got a printed top with nothing on the back. And he's holding a sausage. So, yep, that's him. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this is the last guy. He is holding a little sign there, a signal for the train. He's got no printing on the back, but he's got some front printing. And he's just the normal railway stuff. So, yep, now we'll move on to the taxi. Okay, so here is a taxi. It is pretty basic. It's just your normal kind of Lego City car. As you can see, it's just really simple. Here's a front view, side view, rear view, and another side view of the other side. So, yep, that's that. And now here's the inside of the little cab, I guess. You zoom in, you can see right at the back there. There is a little luggage storage for a suitcase. I'll show you right now. I've got this suitcase and I'll plop it in there. And there is also room for a driver, a passenger, and there is the blue steering wheel. So I will pop the driver, as you see there, with these arms pointing forwards. Pop him in. So he's like that. And then behind I'll place a passenger in. Like this passenger. And without the taxi rolling away. There we go. That's the driver and the passenger in. And we can put the roof on. And there you go. So the detail on this is good enough for a city set. It's got four stickers. And that's pretty much it. It's got a one piece roof. You know, Lego, in Lego sets, I've noticed that they don't actually come out with many bricks. Full, you know, bricks like a 1x4, 2x4. They don't usually use those bricks, they use these specialised pieces, like things like that, you know. So, collecting enough pieces to build stuff, I find, is hard if you only buy Lego sets. So that's one problem I find with these sort of sets. Too many specialised pieces. Yep, that's a taxi, so we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so this is the little bike rack and medium azure blue whatever bike that comes with it. So we'll just take a look at the bike. Here's just a standard Lego minifig bike. As you can see, you can just chuck a minifig on. Like so, I can 
Nah. He's Mr. Sausage Seller. We just pop him on, there we go. So Mr. Sausage Seller is on the bike and you can ride around. Just the same problem as all Lego bikes in my opinion. That little bar down there, I think, if you kind of see it there. That bar right there, I think, in my opinion, is too low to the ground. They need to raise it a bit, because when we try to push it all, it always scrapes across the floor. And, you know, that scratches the bottom of that, scratches the floor as well. So, yep. Now I'll show you the bike rack here. So it's just simply four pieces. And you come up and you slot your little bike in like that. You can store up to, up to three. So you can put one in that way, one over here that way, but you have to put one in backwards like that to fit th all three in. So yep, now we'll move on to the station itself. Okay, so you can see on the destination board, it has city centre written on it. And if you look up the platform a bit, you can see there is a clock, there's a little sticker piece, it says city station, and there's two useless doors. Uh, you can see there's a menu thing for that little shop right there, if the camera will want to focus, which it doesn't. And there you go, there are the two menus, and another destination board. Now we'll have a look at the other side of this station right there. It's a bin and it has a food store. Let's take a closer look at that. Okay, now here's the front of the food store with that little garbage bin. There's also a security camera at each end of the building. And as you can see, the little destination thingies in the way, so I'll move that. So you can have a clear, clearer view up there. So you can see there's a cross on to the left. And then there are two drinks on the right. There's a coffee machine right at the back, a little computer, and anything else that we've missed, I'll show you when we actually take a look at the back. So here, I'll show you the back. Okay, so here's the back of that little food store. And you can see there's nothing really besides this little coffee machine right there. And if I move the thing closer, there is a pizza right there. So yep, yeah, that's that. And another thing, there's this little ticket machine, if I turn the camera like that. And it has a little map. And that map is the exact same as every other LEGO City Train map network. And right there is the LEGO store. If I zoom in a bit, and if this camera is competent and wants to aim, or aim zoom, and stay in focus. There we go. We'll just stick that piece back on. There you go, there's a Lego store. It has a shelf. You can see there are five Lego sets in total and a computer. And you can see there's a little shelf right there. There are two layers to the shelf and you can see there are these little glass windshield kind of plates right there to act as the little shelves. And we'll take a closer look at that. So now for a closer look at that, you can see there's a little computer and the light you can see there if i turn it on there's nothing really else and you can also see the two little seats and if i turn this around here there is nothing yep and here's the other side of the two useless doors and you can also if you see there don't mind that noise you can see there's a pizza and there are actually two more drinks if you look on this side that is the entrance to the Lego store. And these doors just open and close. You know, we'll open them. Then they can close like that. And like that. They don't do anything though, as I said, a lot of times already. So yep, if we have a look a bit further back, you can see there are those steps. I'll turn the light off as well. And, you know, you can pose minifigs there, like that. You know, and like that, all those little steps. And speaking of steps, there is another set of stairs right there. And right next to those stairs, about 
here would be where I would place my bike rack. As you can see, you got your little bike here, just ride it into there. So yeah, that's pretty much my review on the train station. So I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so that's pretty much my review of the set. And now for what I think. I think it's for the money that I got it at. It's good for the full price of that. 70 to 80 dollars here in Australia that is just not worth it for this thing. It's just not that good It's better than the last one. I'd say but it's not that good. I mean, you know It's only got one platform. It hasn't got much in the way of peace can either I'm guessing and You know, there's not much playability or anything like that The only moving parts really are those two doors right there which don't do anything and the wheels of this taxi that, you know, kind of roll like that. Besides that, nothing moves. And, you know, for a Lego City set, you'd expect more stuff to be able to move and be used and be more playable. So, say, like, something like that set there. You see how it has all those moving pieces? Or even, like, a little Lego Chima set. I mean, that's... I've seen that. My brother used that, and that is apparently really good. So yeah, my opinion for the value, I'd say an 8 at the price I bought it at, you know, at American prices. For, you know, playability, I'd say about a 6, because, you know, you can still make the shops, the ticket machine, the Lego shop, you know, that sort of thing. And, you know, it's a train set, so you can have a train pull up to the station, like that, you know, so the train can go past, kind of thing, and overall, I'd give it, say, a 7, pretty much, so yeah, thank you for watching, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and rate it, Lego train anecdote, see you next time.